first of all, we start off with four fresh eggs. Into the pumpkin puree, just to get them fully mixed in. And then we're gonna add some spices. Oh, good. Ground ginger. Yeah. Here's a cinnamon. <laughs> All right, there we'll do a go. couple of teaspoons of this. And so, then some ground cloves. And then uh, sugar. And then sugar. A lot of baking is very precise, but in something like this, you don't have to be worried. The eggs will really bind everything together and hold them together so that the filling, as they say, sets up. And this actually helps to have two people do this. Now this is really enough for two pies. So the eggs are going to bind this custard. It is like a custard, it isn't is, it? It is, exactly. And so it's beautifully smooth. Gorgeous. We have our beautiful egg pastry dough. Beautiful. Back and forth a little bit. Yeah. Mm. Here, do you finish doing that? In the oven? Okay. Mm. So now we're, we're making a second pie, and this one is using a cooked filling, and uh, we're going to put it into our blind baked crust that we made earlier. And so. while Melissa does that, I'm going to separate four eggs, and we're going to make a meringue top for this. As soon as they get foamy, we're going to put a pinch of cream of tartar, which will stabilize the whites a little bit. Well, you can see that mm. is holding. But the other real test is like that. You take a little bit of it and you rub in your, between your fingers. And if there's no grit, it means all the sugar has dissolved. Melissa's going to uh, put the meringue top on top of the tart. And there's a, there's a trick to it. So that the meringue adheres to the crust and doesn't shrink away. You first, you want to make sure that it is sticking on the crust like that. I that love that meringue. Whole bowl. <laughs> <I know. laughs> Nothing but egg whites and sugar. It's like working with clouds. All right, so that will stay. Mm. Oh, that looks pretty. You did a gorgeous job. <laughs> right. Now we wait. We'll have a cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> to brush the crust with a beaten egg or cream. When it's in the dough, you can just see. Yeah, when see the egg is in the dough, it, just, it yeah. gives this beautiful, beautiful yes. golden crust. Yes. And actually, with pumpkin pie, we don't like to have a glossy edge to it. We like the, the matteness of yes. the crust with the glossiness of the custard. You can see and that also, it's also flaky. So here you have two different pies. Pretty much the same filling, the same crust, done two different ways. They're, they both taste like the holidays. <laughs> they sure do.